Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And for those wondering, because I do get a lot of questions about, well, what's the difference with Windows 10, Windows 8? Um, why should I even bother to upgrade? So uh, what I have to say about that? Well, first of all, why you should upgrade your Windows 8 to Windows 10 is simply, first of all, it's free. So when it's going to be out sometime this summer, apparently in late July, uh, it's free. For one year, you can upgrade Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. So that's uh, already a very good reason why you should upgrade um, your Windows 8 machine. And you have to be at Windows 8.1 to upgrade, and that's very important to know. If you're still stuck at Windows 8, you will not be upgraded. You'll have to upgrade to Windows 8.1 before you can do so. So that's the first reason why. But what are the key differences? What makes Windows 10 different than Windows 8? Well, first of all, the start menu, the way that it's now designed in Windows 8, you know that the start menu switches between the start screen and the last app use or the desktop and so on. And you have to right click to get you know some options and so on. In Windows 10 the start menu is back in a form that is more um, you know interesting for a mouse and keyboard user so you'll have your you know most used programs and apps here on the left so different programs and apps are mixed together. You know you don't have that weird feeling like in Windows 8 where you're uh, in the modern world or on the desktop world and you have the impression that you have two operating systems in one here, everything is integrated so well that you have one operating system and it doesn't feel like you have more than one. I think that's a good thing. Of course, customizable um, start menu and you can, of course, change its size and do whatever you want with it, which is pretty cool. So, uh, you know, it's a good step toward making it better and of course you have access here to the file explorer, the documents and the settings, your most used apps, your apps that you can customize everywhere by the way and you can change all of that and you can right click and you can say well I wanna you know open or add something to this menu and so on you'll be able to power button is here you can see all apps will bring you everything programs and apps all mixed together by alphabetical order and so on. So this is something that's nice if you're a keyboard and mouse user. This is just this is great because it does make Windows 10 better than Windows 8 uh, already. Now another thing about the differences in Windows 10 is uh, the fact that you'll have Cortana. Now it's not available in Canada so I can't really show you Cortana much but uh, Cortana is the um, assistant that will actually help you in getting things done. Uh, it will accept, um, you know, verbal commands so you'll be able to talk to it, ask the weather and so on. It learns from your experience so it's gonna actually um, give you suggestions of things that you might want to do or what you might like to do depending on what you did in the past it learns from your Windows experience so that's nice um, another thing the charms bar is gone so it, no more going into the hot corners and so on to get charms bar and so on which was frankly annoying once again for a keyboard and mouse user um, so now you have the notification center that brings you options it does open on the right side a little bit like the charms bar but it you know you just click on it and it opens and uh, you know you had in Windows 8 these two settings you had the control panel and you had these settings that weren't really useful they were kind of complicated to get to and uh, it was always awkward here you have of course you still have the control panel so you know you got that search here at the bottom don't have to go into the star screen or charms bar to get the search it's already there integrated in the taskbar 
that's also something that's better than Windows 8. You have, of course, the regular control panel that's still here. So if you are a big user of the control panel like me, still there. Things are pretty much in the same spot. And but you do have that, you know, the settings, but the settings are in another form, which is more of a control panel kind of form. Now, that is still a little awkward. You know, I think the best will be when everything is unified into one big control panel instead of having separate places. But it's, you know, a step there. It's better to uh, use this. It's easier to use this than to go into the weird settings the way it's done in um, Windows 8. So that's uh, something. And of course, everywhere you are, you have the uh, searches where you can actually search for everything. And you know, you don't have to go there if you want to search. Just that little search box here in the bottom is really cool for that. You can search for pretty much everything you want in the settings and in the programs and so on. Uh, of course, um, you'll have a more modern um, browser if you use Internet Explorer. Then you'll have uh, something called Microsoft Edge, which is this new browser, and that it promises to be actually better and uh, more interesting. So, um, you know, we'll see as time goes by. Of course, it's only a browser. Now, a lot of you use something else. A lot of you use um, Google Chrome or uh, Mozilla Firefox. So, so that's fine. If you use that, you just go there and you'll never use, of course, um, Microsoft Edge probably. But uh, just knowing it's there is interesting. As for uh, speed, it's at least as fast as Windows 8. That's pretty much what I can say. It is crisp fast and um, if I compare it to my um, tablet which is uh, pretty new um, speed is there it seems to be as fast maybe a little faster Microsoft says it's even faster but uh, let's just put it at par same speed um, and so on so this works well um, where things go a little more awkward, I would say, is if you are a Windows 8.1 user on a touch device. I have a touch tablet running Win Windows 8.1, and I can tell you that if you're a touch user, uh, we'll see when you know the retail version comes out when we get our first real Windows 10. But one thing for sure is that I see that um, the touch side of Windows 10 is kind of a little broken. Uh, there's one thing we got to give Microsoft in Windows 8.1 is that if you're using a tablet, Windows 8.1 is actually a fantastic touch operating system. It's really, really well done. The touch side of that operating system is cool. Problem is, they kind of broken that in Windows 10. And that's a little sad. I wish, I hope, you know, I, I hope it's going to come back better. The good news is that Windows 10 is kind of a live operating system. It's going to get better all the time. It's going to upgrade all the time. Unlike the last versions of Windows where you had service packs here and stuff like that. As the updates roll through, you'll see changes. You'll see things are going to get better. So hopefully the touch side of Windows 10 is going to get better and we'll want to use it also on a touch device. But uh, that's pretty much the key differences and what makes Windows 10 unique and of course like I said free upgrade so for most people it's you know there's nothing to say just upgrade it's okay so if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to your channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online if you uh, have any comments or questions about Windows 10 or any other things in Windows Windows 8 also please ask away we'll try to post that video online hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll come back to our channel. Thank you for watching.